Hey, greetings, fellas. This is Mike, uh, Samurai Geek Designs, formerly of Screaming Samurai on YouTube. Uh, but this is what I've been working on this past weekend. Um, I I just pulled this out of the uh, the stash. Uh, it's been sitting there for probably a couple of years now. It's been a good couple of years. I was not very... This is a, the Fine Molds uh, Jedi Starfighter kit, for those of you who don't know. Uh... Again, I there's a video on my old channel uh, over at Screaming Samurai where I uh, I was pretty much complaining about this kit because I spent a good 69 close to $72 on this kit. I just I was pretty much back into the uh, the hobby brand new again uh, and I didn't know what I was buying. And Pretty much, uh, you know, 75 bucks, I'm expecting to find something pretty substantial in the box. And what I did find was this little thing, and just to kind of put my hand in, in here for perspective. For 75 bucks, you know, you would think that it would be a little larger than this. Again, I wasn't, I wasn't aware of the 172 scale aspect of it all, but, uh, I still expected something more. <laughs> I mean, I would totally be glad if this thing, uh, fell out of a cereal box, and, uh, well, I wouldn't complain, but it was a 74 bucks, and then you get this tiny little kit. But then again, you're also paying for quality. Uh, so, in that aspect, you can't really complain, you can't not fine molds for making the buck that they deserve for making this little tiny little kit look super fantastic. I still have to put a dull finish on this thing. It's still kind of shiny from the uh, the decals in spots. Let me see if I can even grab it. But uh, this is where I'm at on it. I've done a little bit of weathering on this thing already. There's some touch-ups that need to go on there. Uh, there's still a lot of tiny little decals that need to go on this part of the uh, Jedi fighter. And that that's still, I'm not looking forward to that task. But once I have all those decals on, I'm going to give it one more uh, glaze or a little bit of a wash just to kind of tie everything together again and then give it a matte finish. Or matte uh yeah, matte finish. That's right. I just woke up. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Marcus has been sick all day yesterday. He woke up at 2.30 in the morning last night. And uh, just needed to be comforted and put back to sleep. And when that was over, I couldn't go to go back to sleep. So I stayed up. I watched Return of the Jedi. I watched, well, the entire trilogy. And uh, right now I'm replaying... Return of the Jedi right now, just to have some noise in the background. But uh, that's where this one is at. Today, I think I'm going to try to put the tiny little teeny tiny decals on the R2 head. Uh, of course, it goes right there. And then I'm going to see about getting the blaster score marks into these little trenches here. Uh, do a little little bit of dry brushing highlights back onto the engine caps here just to bring out some some of that silver again but uh, that's where that one's at this one it's had another bit of a stopping point again but I went ahead and I attached the uh, the nose cone I got the masking done for for that yesterday afternoon and while my masking is not the best in the world. I understand that, especially at this scale. I think I can still clean it up. There it goes, there it goes, the focus. I think I can clean it up after all of my washes are on. Oh man, there's a piece lifting there. That's gonna cause a problem later. Another problem area might be, yeah, right there. I might have some paint that went underneath the tape here. But I won't find out until later, I might just, just scrape it off and make it a bullet hole or something, but, uh, if it's too bad, but, I, what I, ha the other thing that I've done on this guy here is just went ahead and s just, uh, puttied up this right here, 
It wasn't a fat seam at all. But there was still a seam in there. I think you can see it a little bit. But, um... A couple of seams that I still need to fix along here. I think I got... Which one? Does it fade out? It sure does. Uh, I need to fix one more seam where my piece did not line up correctly here after I got it all together. I didn't notice until it was set up. But I want to get rid of that little lip right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. I gotta get rid of that one. And uh, let's see, I think that's about it for the seams. The wings, I guess, are almost... I just need to sand those down, fill them out one more time. And what I've been using for filler, and I've barely even made a dent in it, is this Fast and Final from DAP. And for such a... This is, what, 8 ounces? But this doesn't feel like 8 ounces at all. I mean, it feels like you're buying an empty bottle. And that's because the putty inside is so light and so easy to work with. It's actually pliable. So, as you, as you can see, like all the little pinches, I don't need a lot, so what I've just been doing is just reaching in, pinching off a piece like that, and then, ooh. Sorry for all the camera movement, I, I don't edit, and I shoot these myself. But, uh, once you have it, you can actually form it into the little shape that you want, and, um... Get it on there, it dries fast, it dries hard, and afterwards you can sand it, you can uh, paint on it, you can prime it. It has no issues. I haven't I haven't had any issues with it yet, but then again, all of my ish my models are about a, under a year old that I've done. In fact, the ones that I did use this material, uh, those kits are... Paint's still drying on a lot of them, so... I don't foresee any problems with this with the the putty popping out or anything unless you drop it. Uh, then you're looking at more catastrophic damage than a pop putty seam. But um, I don't know. You know, the, the the jury's still out for me. I don't know if I'm ready to recommend this for for everyone yet. Uh, I know a lot of guys are using uh, the Bondo red putty, which seems to be like the the rage right now ever since Steve Neal. Uh, got behind him, but uh, this one I'm kind of I'm happy with this one right now because just for the fact that I can pick it up with my hands, I can form it, I can squeeze it into little areas that I need, I can rub it off with my finger. I don't have to worry about any kind of residue left on my fingers. I don't have to worry about any kind of chemical burn afterwards. So uh, I'm happy with it. So anyway, guys. That was an update on my Jedi Starfighter here, 172 scale from Fine Molds. I'm still working on the hyperspace ring, which is a very cool piece in itself, uh, but again, I've seen this kit now go for like 30 bucks, and I, and I, and I just want to, <laughs> I just want to jump in a hole, you know, because I spent so much money on this little guy that, um, uh, I don't know. This this better win me something. This better come back. I better be able to sell this thing for nine hundred bucks or something. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you later. More on. I haven't even broken open the box on this guy yet. I've barely had time to work on models, and when I do, I have to play hooky from work to do it. So anyway, guys, have fun. Take care. Peace out.